When people interact with Henry, something remarkably special happens. People have written three and 400 times. Henry is their touchstone when they wake up to get them through difficult times. So it's sort of magical to me that somehow Henry has found his way around the world. When we met Henry and we brought him to the vet, the vet gave us the option of euthanasia because he wouldn't make it as a three-legged cat in the mountains. He'd be eaten or to amputate. So the plan was, we'll have surgery, we'll help him recover from surgery, and then we'll find a home from him. Little did I know that the home would be me and that he would change our lives profoundly. What started was I just wrote a letter in Henry's voice to 20 of our friends. They must have sent it to 20 friends, and they sent it on, and today I've answered 45,000 letters for Henry all over the world. In a million years, I wouldn't think it would grow into a national healing project. There's two goals and two missions that Henry has. One of them is to help animals that were less fortunate than he, and to heal humans. Henry is their therapist. When they write to Henry, they don't think of a human being the voice of Henry. They're writing to Henry directly. They tell him things that they wouldn't tell anybody. There's no charge, there's no diagnosis. All the things that I have to do as a therapist, there's just somebody talking to Henry and Henry wanting to be helpful. One little girl who's just extraordinarily special as his paw pal was born with an ulnar club hand and her twin brother was, quote, perfect. And when she met Henry through emails, she said, I have a special paw like Henry. And it changed everything about how she felt about herself. The minute Henry had his leg amputated, he went on as if that was life now. As humans, we look in our rear view mirror and we compare to what was. Henry teaches us to live now and to learn how to adapt with what you have and not pay attention to what you don't have. What we wanted to do in developing materials is come up with inexpensive ways of how people can get healing who don't have insurance, who will never have the money to see a mental health professional, but who all respond to animals. Henry's World was the first book that was done, and it is a compilation of the adventures of his first three and a half months of life. The second book is called What's the Matter with Henry? The True Tale of a Three-Legged Cat. That book was done more deliberately as a teaching tool. Our hope is to Henryize everything, to bring it into the school system, to take bullies and turn them into buddies, to turn obstacles into opportunities. Another one of his big beliefs is just because you can't do everything doesn't give you permission to do nothing. And that's the message of these animals. Do what you can, use what you have, don't pay attention to what's missing.